Always like the quiet. That was perfect right after I stopped rambling on. You son of a bitch. I'm having problems with this game. <laughs> Apparently, I guess some others aren't. Uh, I am going all gamepad. And I am bypassing the native Steam input support. So I guess first I should probably explain why I'm doing that. So for me, when I try to use the mouse in this game, it is just not not consistent, it's not smooth. This is mouse joystick. I can get very small, very smooth panning. Now I'm gonna grab my physical mouse, not even mouse emulation. This is me moving as slowly as I can. It's stuttery. I don't know if that's translating in 60 frames a second. I have a 144 hertz monitor, so regardless, I have tried everything. <laughs> Multiple attempts at troubleshooting. Mouse does not feel good to me in this game. But if you would like to, you can use mixed input gamepad and mouse so what you will want to do go into system options uh, controller yeah down here you'd want to lock this down to actually I think it's this one that's auto assign this I'm keeping button let's just go back to Change button icons, auto assign. Grab my mouse. Yep, and then it changes. You know, so if you don't change that and you mix inputs, it's going to drive you crazy. And that is also totally kudos to Menenth for pointing that out to me in chat. If you're using mouse, you will want to have change button icons be button icon only, and then that'll lock them into always being controller, to always being controller prompts. The other thing is if you are using the Steam Input API, you can use Gyro for Soothing BB. You just switch it to that, and that should work for you. I can't use that. I'm bypassing Steam Input API because I'm having particular <laughs> seemingly exclusive to me issues. I mean, so far, all I've noticed is that's the only exclusive thing you're getting from using the Steam Input API. Yeah, that's the way. Oh, nice. Somebody used my ladder. But yeah, I guess also just to just to go over in case you don't even unless you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. When I say Steam Input API, this is what we're talking about. So this means that the developers of the game are natively supporting functions of Steam Input. They define the actions so like if I want to you know change the Y button, this pulls up and I this is this is like part of my frustration with this game too. This is like the most bare bones as you can possibly go. They basically just ported over you know the DS4 buttons and made actions. Usually you'd get much more and you could stack a bunch of actions onto one button. But yeah, that's partially too why I just kind of scrapped the whole thing because I was having issues. But the main problem I was having is if we use this... What are you doing, BB? Oh, you're happy. This is using joystick move for the camera. And that's very, very unruly and hard to ugh. just uh, that does not work good for a steam controller for the trackpad no gyro at all there's no gyro function bound and then the problem is to advance settings i want the output to be like, i want it to be a mouse joystick that's what I would like to use for this game, because for me, mouse isn't working smoothly. Okay, I have my mouse joystick. I, I can't combine... You, you can't combine it. 
it's either the X input mouse joystick or the Steam input function. So, what you could do if you wanted to use Steam Input API, like I was saying, you switch this to mouse, and ugh, for me, it's just, it's just it's stuttery. But yeah, if that was even like it could be related to G Sync, so I disabled G Sync. I went through a bunch of different settings. I just can't get mouse feeling right in this game. But yeah, you can do this, and now we've locked down the button prompts, so you have mouse and uh, Steam input functions. I'm assuming that's how a lot of you are going to do it. Like, I know I am fairly certain that's what Menenth was doing, so hopefully he'll get a nice tweaked config up there. So, with that all out of the way, back to what I'm doing. <laughs> with my Porter's Paradise. And just backing up a little bit from that, I uploaded yesterday this foundation I wanted to try to hurry up and get something out there just so people could you know kind of use it as a building block I will probably remove that from the community config but if you downloaded that one I just want you to be aware there will be a new one called Porter's Paradise and I made a lot of tweaks to it so this is my full, it's all gamepad, and the only thing you need to do to effectively use it before I even start talking about it, hmm. go into system, go into options, go into controls for controller. I'm going with hold for sprint because I put it on the outer edge of the left pad, and I'll explain why I did that in a second. But really what you want to do is max up the horizontal and vertical speed for the camera. I put the first person at 80, but really, I mean, you could max those out too. And I'm just keeping the aim excel and decel at five. But that the aim excel and decel doesn't make a huge difference with mouse joystick. And for me, this is a much smoother, much more consistent camera method. I can spin around very quick. And I'm loving the feel of it, so I apologize for the extra ramble, but I felt this is something that's come up with the community quite quite a few times. I have to always kind of defend, apologize, justify for using mouse joystick. It can be a good option, and in a game like this, it feels very, very good. So on to what I'm actually doing with the freaking controller profile. Like I said, I put sprint as a outer edge push, which I prefer just so I don't get locked into a sprint and I can just ease up off of it and slow back down and have the full analog range. Now I have just unlocked, yeah, there it is. I've just unlocked that motorcycle over there. It gets a little unruly because you have the boost on the outer edge. So if you're like pulling a wheelie, you could launch into the the boost. But I'll, I'll cover that in a second also. But the main thing that would separate this from other controls is, you know, you have D-pads, D-pad clicks on the edge. How you doing, Sam? I think you're doing okay. So you have D-pad clicks on the edge. Right will be switched to your uh, item, but it's only a regular press. If you need to switch your item, you're gonna wanna hold the stick over and then that's also a modification that all of the left stick, which is D-pad, modifies the right pad to be joystick move. So you can switch, select these easier. So click, long press is your cuff, which felt kind of cool and intuitive, like it's over there on your right hand. So long press, close it. And then the same on the left. Left quick click will be 
the item, which I don't know if later on I can just like automatically use one of those. Maybe not, so that might be kind of a redundant, unneeded thing right now. But it functions the same as the right and then long press. Over here! And then the long press is the shout. Hello! But that also works really well for likes. Yeah, so then I can just hold and give it a like. Double tap of the right pad is scanner. Double tap hold. You know, as long as I keep my thumb on the pad. Or just double tap. And then that'll be your scan. Up on the right pad is Y, so you can just be running, push up, pick stuff up. And the same down is X, so you could just be running and pick something up, or running and then launch into a punch. That works good though for getting on a ladder. And then just down, click, grabs onto it. And then I could just hold to the right. That'll disable it. I think that might really be it as far as any peculiar things. I just wanted to make sure I covered that uh, the right pad clicks have multiple functions for, that'll be an extra clicks, left and right. Up and down is just put stuff on the back or grab, punch, interact. So you're gonna have full analog trigger. But then here's like I was saying, like, say I wanted to pull a wheelie, if I'm not careful, you know, I just launched into boost. So just be aware that it's on the edge of that. But then if you want a boost, you can just long press of the right trigger. So I max it out and then full press and I have boost. But yeah, there's just, there's just some weird weird issues with the game, which, I mean, maybe they'll patch it, like, some people are having, like, 20 to 40 frames per second drops just from connecting a controller. I... I'm having to record it. Uh, I'm having to record my whole monitor, because... if it was detecting any controller inputs, it was flickering in the recording, but not on my primary monitor, so that was just, like, another, like, I don't know what the hell's going on. Something something weird with this game and maybe just how they incorporated the Steam input. So in the meantime, I'm going all gamepad and that lets me more easily add in what are you doing, Sam? It lets me more easily add in the uh, little tweaks that I want to do. So alright, that's all I got. I will see you around. I always like the quiet. That was perfect right after I stopped rambling on. You son of a bitch. Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the Refreshment Corner now. Corn dogs.